Guys, if you also want to play Free Fire with a good amount of FPS, then make sure to watch this video completely. As in this video, I will provide you with a light and modified version of a Smart Gaga, which is specially made for users with only 2 GB of RAM. In this Android emulator, you won't face any blue screen issues and your emulator won't get stuck on loading. Instead, you will be able to play Free Fire along with many other games without any error. So that's enough talking for now and let's start the video. Guys, you will find download link for the setup file on my website uh, where you can easily download it. As for the size, uh, it is around 350 MB so it will download easily. First, you need to double click on the setup file to launch it and after that, choose your language and click on this button. Then click on the next button and accept their license agreement. After that, select the installation directory and click the next button again. And then the emulator will be installed in just a few seconds. So the emulator has been successfully installed and let's go ahead and launch it now. Once your emulator is launched, go to the main settings and then navigate to the advanced tab. Now select the mobile option and set the resolution to a lower value. If you have a PC with only 2GB of RAM, then allocate 700 MB and set the CPU cores to a lower value. After making these changes, save them and reboot the emulator once. So we have completed almost all the settings and now let's uh, talk about installing Free Fire. To install it, you need to download these two files and uh, you can easily download them from this website. After downloading, you need to copy the files and then open the main directory of Smart Gaga. Here you should see a folder named Shared FS. Just uh, open it and paste the two files you copied into this folder. After that, you need to go back to the emulator and open FX Explorer. Next, go to the system and you should see a folder named Share which you need to open. And first, you need to install the APK file. Once the APK is installed, uh, simply launch Free Fire and after launching it, you will encounter this error. Now simply close it and go back to the same application and this time copy the OBV file and paste it into the exact directory where I am pasting it. Now that we have installed Free Fire, let's go ahead and launch it. As you can see, Free Fire is working but uh, I am only getting around 15 to 20 FPS which is quite low. However, uh, if I turn off the screen recorder, I got around 25 to 30 FPS which is sufficient for playing it. I also tried some other games on this emulator and they all work quite well. One more thing to note is that any game you try other than Free Fire should support Android 4. Although most games no longer support Android 4 but if you still want to play them, you just need to go to Google, type the name of the game and add Android 4 after it. Now you will find a website at the top where you can easily download the game. So guys that was today's video. I hope uh, I have cleared all your doubts. But uh, if you still have any questions left, feel free to ask me in the comment section. Additionally, I have made videos on many other emulator as well, uh, which you can check it out by clicking on the left playlist.